Hey everyone, today I'm excited to show you how to use your iPad as an external instrument in Logic Pro. And why? Because there's so many incredible music apps and synthesizers available that it's truly a game changer. Let's connect our iPad to the computer. Don't forget to trust your computer, otherwise it won't work. Next up, open your application, scroll down to Utilities and open Audio MIDI Setup. Find your iPad and tick that Enable box. Now let's head over to Logic, add a MIDI instrument track by clicking on this plus sign button or using the shortcut Command Option S. Head to the top of the menu, click Logic Pro, go to Settings, then Audio, and change the input device so Logic knows to pull audio from your iPad. Sometimes Logic will do this automatically, but if not, now you know how to do it. Next, go to your MIDI track and click on the instrument slot. Navigate to Utility and choose External Instrument. This window will pop up and here's where you set your iPad as the MIDI destination. Leave the MIDI channels to All unless you want something specific. Set the audio input to 1 and 2 and make sure Auto Compensate Latency is on. You can adjust your audio input volume later just depending on how loud your iPad apps are. So now you are ready to use your MIDI controller to play, record, and edit MIDI on the external instrument track just like normal. It is like you're playing a hardware synth. If you need to tweak the input, press B to open the control window and adjust the audio input volume. Let's play a simple chord progression and record it to the MIDI track. Ready to commit? Let's bounce that iPad sound to audio. You can do this two ways, creating an audio track or bounce regions in place. Let's add an audio track by pressing Command Option A or just clicking the plus sign. Set it to a stereo track or mono, depending on what you're working with. Then set the input to a bus. I'm choosing bus 1 and send the output of your external instrument track to that bus. Now arm your track, check your signal and hit record. The other way is by pressing control click on the region, go over to bounce and join, bounce regions in place or by using the shortcut control B. On the pop-up window, I'll name it after the iPad app and preset I use. The source, I like to leave it muted, but you have options. If you want to bypass any plugins, you can tick that and always include your audio tail. The rest can stay the same. In both cases, I always like to use the name of the iPad app and preset I use in case I need to go back to it later. Also, I like to throw that info in the notes with any additional plugins, core progressions, etc. And that's how you use your iPad as an external instrument in Logic. If you found this helpful, hit subscribe and ring the bell for more awesome Logic Pro tips.